Hi YouTube. Um, this is my November whip update and a very very tiny haul. Um, it's a little bit later than normal this year. It's only the third, but it's still later than normal this month. Not this year. Um, just because things get in the way, you know. Um, so let me just start with my tiny haul. And it's, it's this. Um, this is a Mill Hill Platinum Beads kit. Oh, gosh, lots of glare. Um, it's called Teal Mask. And it's really pretty. It's for a Christmas present. So I need to get this done relatively quickly. Um, and here is the start I've made on it. So this is my this is my one new start for this month. Last month. Oh, it's really weird that you can see me through the canvas. Um, I'm not sure I like stitching with perforated paper. This it feels weird. The tension's weird, and I feel like if I pull too tightly, the stitches just look like they're wrapped around little holes, and it's really weird. But I really like the colours. So that's that so far. Um, I've only had a couple of days working on it. So that's that one. Um, the next piece I've been working on a lot is my Oriental Crane. I did want to finish it this month, but it's taken a lot longer than I thought. However, I have sort of half finished it. So I will show you where I was last month. And here is where it is now. As you can see, I have finished the crane part of the design and alongside started on the tree. So getting there, I have the tree to do and then the border around the design. If you hang on a minute, I will grab the magazine and remind you of what it's supposed to look like when it's finished. So okay, I've grabbed the magazine. And that's what it's meant to look like when it's done. So as you can see, I've finished the crane and I've done that little branch there. So I need to finish this tree and then do the border and then it'll be done. So I'm pleased with how that's turning out. I did want it to be a Christmas present but I think maybe I can save it for Mother's Day. So yeah, so I'm pleased with how it's turning out. It, um, I love the colours. It makes me happy. So that is my oriental crane and I will endeavour to fold up nicely so it doesn't get smushed. Um the other one you saw last month, because I didn't really have many whips on the go last month, was my fish. And I already said, Oh, I'd like to get that finished by the end of this month. Well well we'll see. <laughs> see how well that turned out. Um so let me show you the progress of where it was last month. And here it is now. I have done one, one extra bread. Yeah. Um, I think I'm kind of saving it for going somewhere. Um, I was supposed to go into hospital last week, but that didn't end up happening, and I was going to take this with me. So I'm kind of sort of saving it. For something like that, where um, so that I have some a small project to work on that it doesn't matter if it gets ruined or lost or something. So that's that one. Not very 
Um, not very much progress, but a tiny bit, so I thought I'd better show you. Um, when I'd finished the crane on my crane design, I decided to go back to my rotation, which is working on a different project every time um, I work on my cross stitching. Um, please ignore the switch, it, it happens occasionally. Um, and I know it's very annoying, but it just happens and I can't edit it out. Um, so I started, I have done three of my other projects this month, last month, you know what I mean. In November I did three, worked on three of my other projects and I'm continuing on this rotation in December. So the first project I worked on was The Butterfly Ball by Amy Stewart and here is what it looked like two months ago when you last saw it. And here is what it looks like now. There is not that much difference, but I hope you can see a little bit. I've only worked on it for one afternoon. Um, I've got some orange put in here, and I filled in a couple of the gaps where I did the confetti and done a little bit more of the blue. So it's getting there. Slowly. So yeah. It's nice effort further away. <laughs> so, um I was really worried about how messy it looked. But um Mika from the real life of me, she I commented on her video asking what if she did her heaven and earth design two over one like I do and she said yes and that her stitches look quite messy from close up as well so not to worry and it looks and it still hers looks absolutely beautiful so I'm just take comfort from that and mine will look beautiful from far away as well. We shall hope. Um the next project I worked on was Save the Stitches. Um so here is what it looked like two months ago when you last saw it. And here is what it looks like now. I folded it up because there's so much fabric. As you can see, I've done most of this pattern. Um, I was working on it while I was watching Master Chef and The Apprentice, and it's quite it's quite nice to do because once you get once you work out how the pattern goes you can just kind of go along and do it without thinking too much about it. You see those little hyphens like in between these. Up here there are also little hyphens but they're in gold metallic thread. So once I finish this I'm going to go back and do the gold hyphens um, and then I will move on to this one or this one not sure yet. Um, the last three blocks of the pattern have just been released so now the whole pattern is complete. Um, I really really enjoy working on this one and I hope to get more of it done next time I work on it. But I said I only worked on it for a couple of hours when I was watching TV. So there's that one. This is one of my favourite works in progress I think and it's gonna look I just love how I'll, the white looks on the black and I'm so glad that I decided to do it this way around I think it'll look great hanging in my house when it's done so there's that one um, and the last project I worked on in November was my chatelaine water garden mandala and here is a picture of what it looked like two months ago when you saw it last. And here is what it looks like now. As you can see, I just 
I was just working with the dark blue and trying to get it all the way around. Um, I didn't quite get there. It took it took a long time. But I just love all the pretty silks in this piece so far. These are all silk. Um, they're needlepoint ink silk, and um, yeah, it's looking really nice. Um, I joined a couple of Chatelaine Facebook groups this month, and it made me really want to start working on this one again. So that's that one, and um, I started working on it in the frame. In the, like the key snap type frames, this I don't know what they're called in England. Can't remember. Uh, R and R craft frames, and um, it's so much easier to stitch on this linen with in the frame. So that's that project. Um, there's just so much fabric. That's the only thing I can't really work out what to do with all this excess fabric while it's in the frame. Um, same with my heaven and earth designs. Um, I know people get those grime guards for their key snaps, but I cannot for the life of me figure out how to sew one. I'm not very good at sewing. <laughs> um, and I can't seem to find where to buy one, so never mind. I will, I've been using pegs and, um, felt to just sort of clip it out of the way. And that, that's working fine. So, that's 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 all the projects I've worked on this month, and um, it's getting really dark in here all of a sudden. The weather is it's just gloomy and dull at the moment, it's horrible and cold, and probably not as cold as where some of you live, but it's still cold. Um, um, oh, also I did take part in Nano Romo as you new for my last video, uh, that's National Novel Writing Month. Um, I didn't win, I wasn't expecting to win because my concentration is completely um, shot. But um, I got 14k words so I'm pretty happy with that. It's 14k words more than I would have got if I hadn't participated. So I'm pretty pleased. Um, I did buy some more stitchy stuff, but technically it's not a haul because it's a Christmas present and I don't want to reveal anything about it because the person who the present is for might see this video. So what I might do is take a picture on Christmas Day and she opens it and um, upload it to Instagram if you're interested in my other stitchy haul. Um, yeah, aside from the button, buttons and beads kit, I didn't get anything for myself this month. Um, I was tempted by the Heaven and Earth design sale that's been on the last couple of days, but um, I didn't get anything for myself. So that's pretty much it. Um, Hopefully by the end of December I'll work on all of my widths and next update um, at the beginning of the new year I will show you all of my projects that you I haven't shown you for t like it'll be like three months for some of them by then um, but just to show you today I have retrieved kitty litter from its bag the Ada doesn't stand up the same. That's where I was last time you saw it. And I'm going to spend the rest of the day watching Floss Tube and working on this. So, that's my goal. Um, thanks so much for watching. Um, thanks ever so much. I've just hit over 250 subscribers. And that is amazing and mind blowing. And thank you so much for watching my videos and commenting and Every single one of your comments makes me so happy. Um, so thank you again. And hope you're all having great stitchy days. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.